Mikey Garcia, you're you're 29 years old. You're undefeated at 36 wins, 30 knockouts, very high knockout ratio. Uh, recently crowned lightweight uh, champion under the WBC. Um, tell us about why you took this fight at 140 uh, and what your plans are on July 29th, please. Well, the it's the biggest fight available for me right now. Uh, originally, my plan was to unify at 135. Um, if that was not available, I would look at a big, uh, big, big name to defend my title at lightweight. But again, that that wasn't uh, quite um, available. And, and Adrian Broner is, is a much bigger name and a bigger star and, and has accomplished a lot in the sport. So it just made mo more sense to go and pursue the uh, Adrian Broner fight than uh, a regular title um, defense. Okay, great. Uh, operator, do we have any questions in queue? Our first question comes from the line of Dan Raphael with ESPN. Thank you very much. Hello, Mikey. Hey, Dan. Hey, looking forward to this one. Uh, my question for you is: I know you're moving, you're, you're moving up in weight to 140 pounds. Um, is it? Do you believe a temporary stop? Uh, do you want to come back to 135 and defend your title, or do you just figure that you know what you won the title in, in spectacular fashion, and there's going to be bigger names, uh, be it Broner, or, or in the future after that at that weight class? I would like to come back down to lightweight and unify the title or defend my title before making a permanent move up, but. Because this fight was available right now, and it's, it's a much bigger fight than anything else at the lightweight division, like I mentioned earlier, that's why we're uh, moving up to 140. But, um, you know, if, if, if the uh, unification matches are available at 135 later this year, then that's what I'm going uh, to uh, go after. Okay, so uh, did, did, did you think it to yourself, like, I'd like to fight Adrian Broner, or did somebody bring it to your attention, or did you maybe mention it to one of your – people and say, was, you know, I can't find a big name at lightweight. Uh, I can't, I can't make a unification. Um, so, or did, did somebody come to you and say, Mikey, you know, what do you think about moving up in weight and taking on Broner? Like where, how did the, how did it, how was it brought to your attention? Well, we had already talked about a possible matchup between us two, um, but later, later in the year. Um, and when, when we couldn't find anything else available that made, Sense, nothing big enough at lightweight, you know. Then, then we uh, we looked at the 140 pound division or, or someone that could, uh, you know, possibly make a big, big name. And 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 uh, Adrian Broner's name came up, and um, along with Steven, you know, who who had also brought it up to me, you know, we were able to look into Adrian Broner, and and gladly everything everything worked out, and then his team accepted. And I think it's it's just the uh, biggest fight that we can both get right now in, in, in our careers. Mikey, uh, you know, you fought – the heaviest I think you fought at was, um, you know, a few pounds over the lightweight limit when you returned from your layoff against uh, Ilio Roas. I think it was like maybe 137 or his contract, maybe 138. This is two pounds heavier at 140. Did your team try to get the weight even lower than 140, or did they broach it to you as being higher than 140 and you were able to just sort of settle on the, on the, on the division weight limit or how did, how did the discussion about what weight class this would, what weight would this would take place at? Oh, well, I, I made it clear that I, I'm still a lightweight. I feel that, you know, my best division right now is at 135. So I would not go any higher than 140 pounds for this fight with Adrian. So I, I, I made that very clear from the beginning that if, there was any discussion or talk about a fight with Adrian Broner, it would not be uh, anything higher than 140 pounds. And um, glad, you know, Adrian Broner and his team agreed to to that weight. Was, did they agree right away, or did it take some? Did, uh, I mean, it only took like a week to make the fight, but was there any resistance, I guess, on their behalf originally about making that weight? Not that I'm aware of, because okay. I I heard that he he also had stated that he was coming down to 140 pounds. I got you. All right, very good. Mikey, great. Uh, uh, thank you for your answers, and I uh, look forward to this fight. Thank you very much. Sure, Dan.